Hey there! This video contains a series of setups to get through the Moon Grotto blind with a Teleport Anywhere app, which saves you approximately a minute, a bit less than, in a, an all skills run. I'm starting from up here because I've taken this energy cell, which is useful in Blind Misty, so having three energy lets me also do some extra safety saves in Moon Grotto, but it's not strictly necessary, so let's just get into it. So what I'm going to do is go through the blind setups without actually having the teleport anywhere up, and then I'll show a run of it with teleport anywhere. So normally here you would get your save anywhere. I like to also level over Kindle here, so let's do that. So you get your save anywhere instead of teleport anywhere, but let's cancel out of that. So first up, I already forgot, I like to kill that, get rid of that flower on my way up, so it's not really a big deal. So you just dash to the left in this part until you, you're unable to dash anymore. You just spam dashes to get to here. And then I just walk right a little bit. Kind of do this part by feeling. You don't really need setups for it. Now what I do once you fall is hold a save so that you know when you're able to move. And then do that jump by feeling. And then, okay. I'll have to die to keep the cycle the same so I don't have time to talk. So you, you kind of just jump over these spikes, like just take a couple steps and jump. If you run into the spikes, you, you might you can just like die or whatever. It's no big deal because you have a save right there. But anyways, what you're gonna do is you jump the spikes and then you can spam dash while you're in the air. And what you're gonna do on here is do two dashes and then a dash jump. Or if you want to play it safe, just do one dash. And then you can wait for the platforms to approach again. And then cross while the gap is small. Which you can see pretty easily on the map screen. So but what you want to do is spam dash to dash jump. And then you kind of just mash up here. And you, you can tell on the map screen when you've got to here. And for this part you just hold left to listen to the crushers. After the second one you spam dash. And then after you, you spam dash, dash across, and you wall jump up here, and you can hold a save to tell when you're uh, on that part. So let's just die and do this again. So I just jump by feeling, spam dash, one, two, dash jump. Spam wall jumps. Hold, hold right, and just wait. So you count one, crush. Two crushes, spam dash, wall jump up, and then hold a save. And then off of this save, I'll let myself die so I'm on the same cycle. What you want to do is uh, dash until you're falling and then spam dash to get in. And hold left, and you'll get stuck on the wall down here, which is super useful. It's possible to be too fast on this, but. As long as you're like not, you know, absolutely perfect with climbing out of here, you should be okay to just like spam dash once you see where you start to fall, and then hold left and get stuck in the wall here. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna wait for the sound of the crush to finish. So uh, let me get in there again. So it finishes. I guess that was I was a little slow because I was trying to talk over it, but I'll just let you listen this time. Basically as soon as the echo fades, you go to the right and you'll get the key. And then I just jump out of there by feeling and dash over to the door. And of course you need to use you can't click to open this because the click will teleport you. So you have to use X to open that. One more common about this part is if you're slow getting up here, say whatever happens, and you get to here, and you try to dash and you can't get in, uh, what you want to do is you want to wait for the sound of this crusher hitting the bottom, so it'll be the second crusher here, wait for it to fade, and then dash in and hold left, and you'll get stuck in this spot. Nice, I don't have extra, 
So you would have an extra key on this file. <laughs> but it's a debug file I just put here and I forgot to give it a key, so... Rip. So as, as for dodging that guy, you just, you know, jump when you hear him shoot. And then you can, you can dash, once the door opens, you can just dash through. Until you can't dash anymore. And then to set up this next part, what I like to do, hold down to turn in place and then do a backflip jump. And that'll always carry you right to this spot. So you're just on the very edge of this. Rather than like having to, you know, jump up like that. Where you could land in somewhat different spots. Just get up against the wall, turn, backflip. And this is a good spot for a safety save. And then, as for this next jump, it's entirely done by feeling. It's kind of like uh, a run in, pretty like high jump off this wall, high jump off that, off like the right side, and then just a tap off the left. So, so that's that. I mean, obviously, it's quite easy when you can see, but you just have to practice that part essentially. But Coming from the the safety save right on the edge there, it's pretty good. Now, if you do this fast, your safe cooldown won't be back up here. So, you know, you don't really need to save for this part. But, and if you were doing two energy, you wouldn't save in this part. But you can put a safety save down here once you're done this jump. I found it helpful when I was starting this. So what I do to this, set this next part up, uh, you could just, like, you know, hold right and count your dashes to here, but I'd like it to be you know, a bit more consistent if you, once you land, come back to this wall, and then do five neutral dashes with, at the end of the last one, just a tap to the left. Three, four, and if you're going to safety save after the fourth one is a good time to safety save. So five, tap left, and you'll land on this. And you can do this jump by feeling. I like to just run over and kill this slime. And then kind of, you like run off the edge, and as soon as you begin to fall, you turn back, and then go forward again to dodge the Frankie. Uh, you could dash jump over him, but I found that pretty difficult blind, so what I prefer to do is something like this. Run off, and you, you can see when you begin to fall on the map screen. And that's that. So let's do that again, but actually with a teleport anywhere up. I think this file is backed up at the start of this. So let me just give myself a key this time, actually. Just one. Okay, so just doing the end of the death run now. Going up and getting the cell just because... I mean, primarily I just want it for Blind Misty. You don't really need the extra save down here. There you go. Dash just off the edge here. Then you can dash again. That sets you up well here. I'd like getting rid of that thing, and then uh, level rekindle, start your save anywhere. Note that you want to get rekindle before your save anywhere, because if you get the save anywhere first and level rekindle, you'll activate the spirit well at the same time and have to wait for the save animation, so that sucks. Uh, okay, so start your teleport anywhere, dash left till you can't dash anymore, go right a bit, drop down, left a bit, right a bit, dash. Holding save as we fall so we can tell exactly when to move. Right jump. Get up there. One, two, dash jump. Climb up. Now I, I progressed a bit, killing the thing. So now we're on the outside edge. On the first crusher. On the second crusher, now spamming dash. Jumping up, holding save, dash off. Hold left, dash left. In the spot. The thing, got the key. I jumped a little bit late going out, so I took extra damage there, but it's okay, I got out. Okay, I got hit by the spider. Pretty nice. And that was uh, me being too slow, dashing it. This one should work. No, it won't. There we go. I went a little bit early there. I'm just jumping over the spider shots. I went a bit early there, so I took two extra damage, so I'm at one health now. Now I'm at the uh, the like 
spike jump part. So I'm dashed up against the wall, hold down, tap left, do a backflip, and then now I put a safety save, so I'm on the top edge. So now it's going to be a like, long right jump, long left jump, and a tap off the left wall. Now we're at the bottom. Dash to the uh, right wall. Can't dash anymore. Turn right. One, two, three, four. Good for spot for a safety save. And then one more dash and turn back to the left. I'm on the platform. Jump off. Walk along, spamming X. Now that slime's dead, and then we're just gonna uh, walk off. And as soon as we start to fall, we turn back to the left. And dash under him, mash jump to get up to double jump. Still have UI on, so I'm mashing X through the dialogue. As soon as you activate it, you click your teleport, and you're out of there. And normally you turn UI off there, so that wouldn't happen either. But there you go. And of course, don't forget, after you do all that, go back down and get the water vein. <laughs> you have to do this. Otherwise, you won't be able to get it again, so.